Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh no, Matt, look out. Oh, we're ah. Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. Today, we've got week number three of season three at Auto Club Speedway. Last time out, we were at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. If you missed that episode, I'll put a link to that in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Highly recommend you go back and watch that one before you watch today's episode. Trucks are off this episode, so it's just going to be Xfinity and Cup. And uh, that's probably a good thing. After our last truck outing, we got some rethinking to do. We weren't nearly as strong as I thought we were going to be. But you could say the same thing for our Xfinity program as well. Two finishes outside of the top 10 in both of those series. And that was definitely a surprise. A little bit eye-opening, considering we were so good on mile and a half in the Xfinity series in the second half of last season. So... We got to go back to the drawing board. Something's not clicking, but I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. As far as the cup side of things, we took the Monster Energy Chevrolet to victory lane at Las Vegas, and that felt good. It was a great race, a hell of a battle we had with Joey Logano, the Hendrick Chevrolets, and uh, that was one of the best races, if not the best race I've ever had in NASCAR heat. So that's encouraging, and hopefully we can have something similar to that today at Auto Club. But we got the Xfinity program to focus on here first. We spent some money, finally got that short track chassis, hired a couple new employees as well. So let's take a look at our expanded operations. Now part of the roster, a fourth car, the short track chassis, something that we missed so dearly last season, but we may do without. Now we got one, and we got plenty of employees to get all these cars prepared as we go through the schedule. I made two additional hires, a suspension specialist and an engine specialist, so now we can have three cars being worked on at the same time, and that's going to allow us to keep this fleet fresh each and every week. That's definitely going to be an advantage for us. The next thing that we'll focus on spending money is increasing our department maximums for the aero and suspension. Probably do aero first, then suspension. I don't know. I don't really think it matters. Let me know if you think I should do one versus the other down in the comments below. But as you look at the cost to do so, well, my head's in the way, but it's a million bucks to go up to a 95. So, uh... Yeah, it's going to be a hot minute before we start getting into that, but we'll save up money and we'll do that. But remember, the ultimate goal is to save as much money as we can to buy our own cup team for next season and be competitive. It seems like that's just not going to be the case, then perhaps we just won't do that, but a problem for another time. Taking a look at the Xfinity Series playoff standings, Michael Annette got the win at Las Vegas, a redemption drive for him. So he joins us in the winner's club. All guy are Gregson Jones, Brandon Brown, Ryan Sieg, Alfredo, Justin Haley, Alex LeBay, Timmy Hill, and Austin Hill. The other playoff eligible drivers after two races. Obviously, still very early in the season, but uh, Michael Annette seemingly en route to a playoff berth again like last year. Kind of ironic that he got his playoff berth at the track where he choked away an opportunity to go to the championship for at Phoenix. So, you know, I guess he... Uh, he kicked himself last year after Las Vegas. This year, he got the drive that he needed to get the win, so I'm sure he was quite happy. In any event, we'll take our Ream machine out to Auto Club Speedway and see what we can do. Can we get a second win? Will somebody else get their way into victory lane instead? Let's go find out. Welcome to Auto Club Speedway for the production Alliance Group 300. Justin Haley is happy with me. Okay, I like to hear that. Austin Sindrick, your pole winner. Fantastic. Tommy Joe Martins failed pre-race inspection. Of course he did. Uh, it's a okay qualifying effort for us. Not great, but I think that's just going to be normal this year. The AI are just very strong in qualifying. So it was a 22nd starting spot for us. We got 10 laps in this race. Let's see if we got a little bit better race pace than qualifying here. We can just about make it on fuel. I think we just... Clicked over to nine laps on fuel. Still Hold your line. Got one inside. I was trying to remember last season's Auto Club Speedway race, and it really wasn't ringing a bell. So either that means it was really bad, or I just have a really bad memory, or both. Wow, look at Ray Black making moves there through the middle. Trying to follow him here. I mean, I'm not like way off on pace, but... We're certainly not moving up through the field a whole lot as I go three wide on the bottom. <laughs> Almost looks like I know what I'm talking about. Cars, it's snug on entry. That's its biggest issue is that it doesn't rotate very well into the corner on, on entry. 
Now, now that I think about it, I remember that from last season. And, uh, yeah, I remember fighting that last year in the race. Oh, Brandon Brown. Oh, Looking my God. Right hold now. on to it. You got it. You got right it, buddy. Now. Nice save. Nice save. Right now, we're looking about three quarters of a lap short of making it on fuel, which sets up a very interesting strategy of, like, how do we approach this? I mean, I guess I can save. I hadn't really been trying to save all race. But we're only coming to halfway here, so I can definitely save. I'm going to have to save hard, but I don't know if the AI cars are doing the same thing or not. I don't think we're going to be able to save enough. Really haven't. I've been I've been saving hard over the last couple laps, and I just don't see anything that would suggest I can make it. Yeah, I agree. We got two to go here, TJ, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I have this fear that the AI cars are going to be able to make it. Like they're getting better fuel miles than me. Oh my God! And the car. What a what a. That is the worst caution flag I've seen yet. Oh, everybody was going to come in and pit in front of us, I think. A lot, if not everybody, a lot of people were going to pit right there because he was just saying, watch for the car pitting in front of you. And the caution flag flies coming to the one. Get off me, Jeff Green. Blow it out your ass. Got bigger things to worry about right now. Oh, my goodness. So we get a green-white checker here. Jeez. And we lose 15 spots. Oh my god, what a disaster this is. I took a half a can of fuel and four tires. So I better be blowing past all these guys. Nope. What? Who's coming to the pits? Oh my gosh, they're all pitting. What the hell kind of dumbass strategy is this? Why didn't they just pit under yellow? Oh my God. The AI are just too stupid to be helped. You've got to be kidding me. I know I'm low. They've got to be out. If these guys make it, I'll be surprised. No way. Yeah, none of them pitted. You're a liar, TJ. What a stupid finish to this race, but it's P12. What? But that was the weirdest race I've yet. I don't even know what to think about that one. Uh, who won? I don't even know who won. Ross Chastain gets the win over Brandon Jones, Cindric Herbst, and Briscoe in fifth. Annette Sieg LeBay, Alfredo Clements in the top 10. What? That was the most bizarre finish I may have ever seen in a NASCAR heat race. Ryan Sieg had the fastest lap of that race. Um, Harrison Burton led the most laps. Okay. David Starr was on the move. Started 34th, finished 13th. Noah Gregson, tough break, 7th to 32nd. Well, that was the most bizarre race yet. Like, I, I'm i so baffled by what I just witnessed. Why did those cars not pit under the yellow if they knew they couldn't make it to the end? And how did the others make it to the end? I just, I'll take a 12th place finish. But I don't feel like we deserved one, but that was a very bizarre race. The yellow flying coming to the white flag. Everything. I, I That was just weird. And that sets us up for hopefully a normal Cup Series race at Auto Club. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's what we got. So let's take a look at the point standings before we head out one more time to Auto Club Speedway. By virtue of our win last time out of Las Vegas, we joined Brandon Gone in the Winners Club, uh, which is great. But Brandon Gone finished, like, second to last, third to last to Las Vegas. So that's not great for him in the points. Remember, Brendan, you got to stay in the top 20 to make the playoffs. Come on, man. Chase Elliott there uh, in the playoff standings. Third, Hamlin, Boyer in fifth, Logano, Benedetto, Byron, Bush, McDowell in 10th, Eric Almarola, Chastain, Priest, Bowman, Dillon, 
of the Thai variety and Dylan of the Austin variety. What a strange playoff grid so far. Two races into this season. McDowell, Chastain, Priest, and the Dylan brothers. I know we got a long way to go before we set the actual playoff grid, but imagine this one going in. If this was reality, strange. Oh, well, uh, we'll load up the number one Monster Energy Chevrolet, take her out to Auto Club, put in the setup, and see if we can go back-to-back -back and another victory to our name. It is the Auto Club 400 at Auto Club Speedway. And uh, boy, oh boy, I took what I learned from Xfinity and tried to apply it here to our cup car. It was disastrous results in practice. Absolutely disastrous and in qualifying. You'll see here why in just a sec. But uh, yikes. Denny Hamlin posted some fast laps in practice. Should have a good race. No shocker there. Joey Gase failed pre-race inspection. Whatever. Joey Logano crashed during qualifying. Well, he wasn't the only one. I did as well. I actually crashed onto pit road because this car was so loose. But uh, yeah, we got a good good view of the field here from the back of the grid just about. But that's okay. We got plenty of time to work our way forward. I think I made the right adjustments to the car to fix it up for the race. 14 laps here in stage one. We can go 11 laps on fuel. West Coast swing continues here in the Cup Series. Oh, yeah, already feels a lot better. It was so loose in the middle of the corner and off. It was just sliding. I was like dirt tracking. <laughs> and while that's fun, it's not fast. Hey, last week you were a ghost. Justin Haley, glad to see you're back in solid form here at uh, Auto Club. That was so funny last race. God, that was great. Goofy things. Hey, there's our Daytona 500 champion, Brendan Gaughan. 33rd. Come on, man. You got to do better than that. I'm going to be so sad if Brendan Gaughan does not make the playoffs because he can't finish well enough on normal races. We got a knot of cars here. Holy hell, we got a lot of cars here. Oh, Logano got boxed in on the high side. He made good progress. No surprise. He was so strong at Las Vegas, too. So if he can get hung up in traffic a little bit, I'd be happy with that. It's our teammate. Hello, Matt. Goodbye, Matt. Oh, I did not realize we were three wide. Got Priest out there digging on the high side. And Quinn Half up here in the top 25. What the hell? Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh no, Matt! Look out! Oh, we're ah, we're still spinning, Matt! Matt! Stop! Oh no! That's a massive pile up here at the back straightaway. Oh wow! Ah, just drive into the wall. Yeah, perfect. Man, well, I guess we'll pit. That went to hell real quick. I just gave the slightest tap to Boyer coming out of the corner, and he just like it's like I I pile drove him, and. Uh, Yikes. Well, we might as well pit. Bowman pitted. Newman pitted. Clint Boyer, three laps down, I think is actually out of this event. Why would he be out? Did he have a problem before I hit him? Is that why he spun? Normally, when you wreck an AI car, they're not going to be out. I have DNFs turned off. I'm a little confused by that. I don't feel so bad anymore. He might have actually had an issue at or around the same time that we made contact. But I like the strategy here by Bowman and Newman, both coming down to get fresh tires as well. You guys got to get aggressive with them, though. Can't just be riding the line back here. I almost did it again to Ty Dillon. I almost did it again. Let's use this apron down here. It is quicker. Never mind. Couldn't get to the bottom. Alex Bowman was digging, too. Damn, he's fast. Hey, Matt. Sorry about earlier. Hopefully, you're not mad at me about that one. All right, who is holding up this line? I'm, like, off throttle all the way down the head, this front stretch. How are we going so slow? Who is it? Ah, it's a lot of cars. Oh, 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 Jimmy. There we go. 
We're all right, Jimmy. We're all right. Way up against the wall here at Auto Club. Not fast. Easy Bowman. Easy Bowman. This is in, this is very intense racing right now. This is pretty insane. These bumps aren't helping. Bowman just making it look easy, making me look slow. Oh, there's somebody pitting. Who was that? Was that Austin Dillon? Pitting? Two to go on the stage. And the stage is over. I hate that. Ah, uh, we finished 14th in the stage. We were flying, but I mean, you see the power of fresh tires, pretty, pretty potent, but no stage points for us. Denny Hamlin, your stage one winner. Byron and Logano finishing ninth and 10th. Well, we will come down to the attention of our pit crew, take four tires, fill it up with fuel. I don't think I'm gonna touch it. It's driving really nice. So stage one is done. Stage two for you coming up next. Restarting in the 14th position. No right, spots lost or gained there. on pit road. Fine by me. Hold your line, got one inside. Half down, half to go. This time Another 14 laps here there. in stage number two. The same distance as stage there, one. Inside. We're a little bit closer to the front now as I Low turn one, no big deal. Exactly how I planned it, cut to the bottom. Pro. Man, there are many cars wide up there. Are they five wide? I wish I could see, but all I can see is Bowman on my screen. They were very, very many cars wide up there. Man, despite my best efforts, I cannot I, I can't make up any ground. I'm like stuck here in 16th right now. Car seems to be fine, but they just, they're just faster than me. That was my fastest lap and I barely gained on him. We're gonna follow Alex Bowman. He's just been on a rail since we all pitted at that first caution. He's quick. Got his teammate there in front of me. We saw plenty of him at Las Vegas last episode. Pull to the bottom here. Look at that little sweet little crossover. Can we clear Blaney here? Yes, yes we can. Yeah, that was a good fight. We're having more really, really good fights here like we did at Las Vegas. That's exciting because we got five laps of fuel left. We will have to make a pit stop before the end of stage two. Byron goes up top. Bowman goes up top. Kyle Busch leading this race, by the way. We go side by side with William Byron Jr. He'll be halfway through stage two next time by. We have a caution. So to hell with all your pit strategy. Arr! Four tires and fuel. Not much else to it. It'll be a P10 restart for us. Looks like Kyle Busch still in the lead of this race. And I think that's Hamlin, his teammate next to him. Five laps to go. Here in stage number two. In a position to get stage points. I worry about these short runs. If our car is good enough to handle them. I'm going to be driving hard. Better hold on to it. Inside, inside. Nice save. Clear high, clear high. Inside. Well, I don't know about stage points now. Clear Especially back. when I can't get to the bottom. Ah, uh, now I'm gonna get freight train on the outside. Are you kidding me? Got a car high now. Come on. They can get back to the gas sooner than I can. Still there. And they can hold their speed better than I can. My car's like pushing in the middle. Ah, it's close with Custer. That's close. Well, it doesn't look like we're gonna get stage points here in stage two either. Just not good enough. You're all clear up top there. Denny Hamlin's gonna win stage two. 
It's going to be 14th. Oh, shit. It's not the last lap of stage two. Now it is. I. Uh, it's that damn TJ line. White flag. Next time by. Stop saying that, TJ. I should know better by now with how much I've done this. But I just, I hear him say white flag. And I just think it's, it's the last lap. God, that's so annoying. Stop doing that, TJ. All right, you're clear. Nice driving, that there, now the stage is over. Denny Hamlin wins stage two. Over Kyle Busch, Harvick, Logano, and Truex. Truex finally having a good race for the first time this season. We finished 12th outside of stage points again. We're just, I don't know, something's missing. We're not good enough to run up front like we were last week. That much is for sure. Well, stage two is through stage three. Let's see if we can make this car drive a little bit better. Slight chassis adjustment and a right rear tire pressure adjustment. See if we can get this car to turn a little bit better, but not just be sliding. We'll see if I made the right adjustments or not. We restart in the 12th position. 18 laps to go in this race we have not shown the pace to run with the leaders we just haven't have not been good enough we've been a 12th to 16th place car at best oh bowman why you're so slow why was bowman so slow in the middle of the corner oh that's the big slide i didn't want I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just, I'm out of shape right now. Really bad. Inside. Ah, that was, that adjustment was not the, the, the good adjustment to make. That wedge adjustment was just too much. This thing's so sideways now. Hold your line, driver. Careful, go there. And we have a caution flag. Uh, who did it? Who's it for? Looks like possibly Timmy Hill. Generally, when it says pitting next to their name after a caution, that means they were the cause. So Clint Boyer out of this race early. Joey Gase appears to be done for the day. And now Timmy Hill with a problem to bring out the caution in stage number three with 15 laps to go. Should be 12 to go when we restart. We're going to pit. I'm going to go back on the wedge adjustments. That just was too much. And we'll keep the tire pressure adjustment where it was. Okay, let's do it. To the back we go. Looks like Timmy Hill's going to stay in this race. So 38 cars left of the original 40 starters. And we can see every single one of them. Stay on the bottom here. 12 laps to go in this race. 11 laps on stay fuel. On Check that 10 laps on fuel. So there's no way we can save. Two laps of fuel, just not going to happen. It's going to be like the Xfinity race. Just can't save that much. But with our fresh tires, we can attack because we know we're going to pit and take tires again when we take our splash of fuel, assuming we get a green flag pit stop, which seems like a, a silly assumption to make knowing what we know. We never, I mean, we haven't gotten them today. That much is for sure. We've gotten the dumbest caution flags. Even in the Xfinity race, we got that dumb caution flag. So I'm just going to drive it as hard as I can. And when the caution flag does fly, we should be further up the running order. Oh, my God. Fresh tires do make a difference. Now, the car feels better with that wedge adjustment going back on it. It feels a lot better. So I guess we found the, the limit on, on cross weight with this setup. Pretty much spot on. Now remember, they're going to have to pit before we do because we pitted and got more fuel. So if this thing does go green, they're going to have to pit before I do. Kyle Busch continues to lead here. It's going to be seven laps to go. We can go six on fuel. Let's see when it changes over to five. Should be right around here based off of the restarts. There you go. Just exiting two, it turns over to five. So, yeah, we're like a, a lap and three quarters or so shy of making it to the end. And you just can't save that Careful. much. 
But if we have to pit in five laps, they're probably going to be pitting in the next two laps. There you go. Pitting car just ahead, says TJ. Who's it going to be? All of them, except for one car. Who's that? The Benedetto that stayed out? Yep. The me and Dibby stay out. A few people behind me stay out, but basically the entire field just pitted with five to go. Dibby's up here running the damn wall in one and two. And we're going to run this thing dry. See if we can lap some of these people. It's tough because this is a big track. Longer lap times. Not going to lap as many people. There goes Dibby. And here we come. A lot of people leaving the pits. We're not going to get them all lapped, but we got plenty of them lapped. I can't believe we haven't had a caution. Well, now what do I do? I guess I got to come down and pit. I got pit this time. Oh boy, coming to two to go. We're hitting pit road. That is sketchy. You got to come and pit for gas. I am, TJ. No, I'm not. Where's the damn line? No tires. Half can of fuel. And there's the caution. And it locked me into my choice of no tires. Well, we just lost. I got a pit. I can't stay out on these tires. I'm going to get smoked. Jeez. Can you believe that luck? Unreal. Oh, man. Way back in 27th. That hurts. That is really bad luck. A camera got all messed up. Still there. Oh, that's brutal. That is brutal. I love how I still hear a pit stop in my ears, even though I didn't change tires during that green flag stop. He's down. He's going who's, pitting. who's pitting? Why is Timmy Hill pitting? What are you doing? Oh, man. Oh, Ty Dillon setting a pick for us. Thank you, Ty. Well, here we go. One more big run. Shut up, TJ. Wow. Wow, what a finish to this one. Denny Hamlin wins. We finish 11th after one of the biggest screw jobs on pit road I've ever seen. This whole weekend has been so unlucky, I can't even believe it. Awful, just awful. As we uh, take a look at our wreck there, hopefully Matt's not too pissed off at us. Ah, oh, that was embarrassing. Power right in the wall. Denny Hamlin gets the win over Joey Logano. Truex gets third. Bowman Kozlowski in fifth. Newman to Benedetto, Chase Elliott, Austin Dillon, Tyler Reddick. Your top 10. Let's look at 11 through 20. We hold on for that 11th place finish, but uh, really disappointing. Matt down in 19th. Hmm. 21st through 30th. Kyle Busch, after leading early in this race, only gets 21st. That's disappointment for him, I'm sure. And finally, 31st through 40th. Number of lap down cars. Joey Gase had a DNF and Clint Boyer DNF'd as well. I am just, I, I am, my mind is blown at the timing of that caution. I was thinking all the way down pit road, there ain't no way this game is gonna let this play out naturally and sure as hell. Right before I get to my stall and right after I don't have control over my pit stop anymore, it throws the yellow. If I had the ability to take four tires with, uh, with the fuel splash, we probably win that race. Denny Hamlin, the fastest lap of the race and route to a 
victory along with the most laps led 36 of the laps led today for Hamlin Logano was on the move from the back to second he was very quick one more time but finishes second for the second race in a row Jimmy Johnson tough break eighth to 32nd take a look at social media here Ryan Blaney checks and says hashtag amazing dot 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 at David Schildhaus in a cup ride looking forward to hashtag trading paint with you hashtag incredible hashtag too many hashtags Ryan Timmy Hill says hey you better be careful out there your dirty driving is making some people mad that's fair Timmy I did wreck Clint Boyer so uh I'll clean it up sorry stop yelling at me Timmy Hill pro invitational winner Timmy Hill by the way the final leg of the West Coast Swing will take place in the next episode at my home track, Phoenix Raceway. And once more, the trucks will be off. I forgot they had such a long break at the beginning of the schedule. So it'll just be Xfinity and Cup one more time next time out as we come to our first short track race of the season. We got to do better. We just got to do better. Xfinity, we finished outside the top 10 two races in a row. Cup side, we weren't very good. Didn't come close to sniffing the front all day long. So kind of a fall from grace after winning in Las Vegas. But uh, it's still early in the season. We will find our footing and hopefully clean up our act a little bit too. Thankfully, no angry tweets from our teammate. Old 42. Uh, yeah, we came together in that race at Auto Club. Not exactly what I want to have happen. But that's racing sometimes. But if you enjoyed today's episode, of course, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on the video. It helps so much. And leave a comment down below. Give me your thoughts on today's race at Auto Club Speedway, both in the Xfinity and in the Cup Series. If you're new to the community, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us. We are racing to 2,000 subscribers. I would love to be at 2,000 subscribers on this channel before the end of the year. Over 40% of my viewers are not subscribed. So hopefully today is the day that I earn a subscription from you. And remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like me or my content. But if you hit that little red box below the video, it helps me out so very much. I really do appreciate you checking it out. As always, be good and be good to each other. We will see you in the next episode.